So now we are going to display these analytics icons. As you can see, this is the like or the heart icon. And then we have the comment icon as well. And then we have the share icon as well. And when the user gets the mouse cursor over here on these icons, they are going to scale themselves by 1.5 times. So guys, let us move to VS code. So guys, let us create another folder over here inside the HTML CSS projects folder. So in this case, we are going to have the folder name as analytics data. So guys, basically we have this new folder over here inside which we are going to create the index.html file and the style.css file as well. So now we have created both the files over here. Now inside the index.html file, we are going to quickly create the HTML document and we have the title that is analytics data for Instagram. So guys, simply we are going to have three icons over here in order to have the like button, comment button and the share button in this case. Now apart from this, we will also link the external style sheet that is style.css file with the help of the link tag over here and the href it is equal to style.css. Now guys, inside the body tag over here, simply we are going to have the div tag with the class container this time and then inside this we are going to have the a tag first of all so basically we make use of this a tag inside which we are going to make use of the box icon so guys basically in order to make use of the icons you can simply use the boxicons.com website where you will find the css link over here so simply i'm going to copy this particular link i will provide both these links in the description section below so let me just copy this link and paste it under the head section of the html file so guys basically this is the url from where the icons will be referenced and will be displayed on the web page wherever we are going to make use of the box icons now guys after this we have to go to the website that is boxicons.com so simply let me just open this website on the browser so guys over here this is the box icons website now over here simply you can search for the different icons so the first icon that we want to use is the heart icon this time so simply we have searched for heart and when we press enter as you can see this is the icon that we want to use you can use any of the icons based on your project requirements now guys we will click on this particular icon and as you can see on the right hand side we have to go to this font option and then we have this i tag over here with the class name so guys basically this class is used in order to refer to this particular icon from the box icons website so let me just copy this i tag over here inside the a tag and then after this we will also have the span tag over here and simply we will have the class as data for the span tag and then we will have the content as 60 over here so we can have any dummy data over here in order to show the count of the hearts and then apart from this let me just copy paste these lines of code that is the links multiple times over here instead of heart in this case we are going to have the other icons that is comment and the share button so over here we search for comment and basically this is the comment that we want to show on the web page so when we click on this we are going to copy this particular i tag and similarly let me copy the i tag for the share icon as well so guys over here as you can see we have the i tags with the different class names that will help us in order to display the icons on the web page now guys let me just save this file now and let us start the live server over here so guys as you can see these are the three icons that we have displayed on the web page so guys now we will provide certain css properties to the these classes that we have defined inside the HTML file. So inside the style.css file for the container class, let us provide certain background color over here. And this time we will provide the white version of the background color over here. So guys, basically we will set this particular background color this time. And also we will provide the padding. So let's say from top and bottom, we want 10 pixels of padding. And from left and right, we want 20 pixels of padding. Let me just save this file now. As you can see, this is the div tag that is getting displayed over here. Now guys, apart from this, we will also set the width as well. So let's say we provide the width of 30% over here. When we save this file, as you can see, this is the div that is getting displayed. And then after this, also we will make the display it is equal to flex and also we will set the justify content it is equal to center so that all the icons are displayed at the center as far as the horizontal alignment is concerned now guys you can see that there is no spacing in between these icons so what we will do is instead of providing the center as the justify content we will say space evenly over here so when we save this file now as you can see there is enough space over here in between all the icons 
now guys what we can do is simply we can also provide the border radius as well so we will provide the 20 pixels value for the border radius and also we will provide the box shadow so let me just provide the horizontal and vertical box shadow and over here we will provide the shadow as dark blue color this time so when we save this file now as you can see we are getting the dark blue color as the shadow for this particular div tag now guys let us get this div tag at the center of the screen so simply we will provide margin that is equal to auto so as far as the horizontal alignment is concerned we have got the div tag at the center of the screen guys this is just a part of the web page in which case you can provide all these icons which is the part of the analytics and user can interact with these icons in order to like comment or share and if you are new to this youtube channel please make sure that you subscribe to this youtube channel so that you get the notifications for the upcoming videos in which we are going to create more html and css projects now guys so far we have provided the required css properties for this particular div tag now inside the div tag we need to provide the CSS properties for all these links which are being represented by this a tag over here so guys what we will do is simply we will provide the class name over here as a link this time for the a tags and then let me just copy the class names for all the a tags over here so that we can provide the CSS property to this link class so guys let me just copy this link class name over here and then inside this first of all we will provide text decoration as none so that we don't get this underline as you can see so when we save this file now there is no more underline apart from this we want to change the font color to black by default so we provide the black color as the font color so when we save this file now you can see the changes this time now guys what we want to do is we want to change the font colors of these icons as well we will keep this heart icon as red color so instead of providing the css properties inside the external style sheet we will simply provide the inline style over here so for this particular i class that is having the heart icon simply we will provide the style and we will say color it is equal to red this time so when we save this file now as you can see we are getting the red color over here apart from this we will also provide the color css property for the other two icons as well so for the comment part let us provide the color as blue over here and for the share part let us provide the other color that is green color this time because basically we have the red blue and green color for all these icons when we save this file now as you can see these are the colors that are getting displayed over here now guys when the user gets the mouse cursor on these icons we want to increase its size so what we can do is simply inside the link class we need to refer to this i tag over here so we come to the style.css file we provide this link class and then the i tag over here and then after this we want to make use of the transform css property in which case we will make use of the scale function over here we will say that it should scale by 1.3 times this time so when we save this file now so if you see the changes already there is a scaling that is happening over here now guys we want the scaling on the mouse hover so we have left out the hover pseudo class this time so simply we provide the colon after the i tag and then we say hover pseudo class when we save this file now as you can see these are the default sizes for all these icons and when we get the mouse cursor over here you can see that the scaling is happening by 1.3 times over here let us increase the scaling by 1.5 this time so that it gives a decent look so when we save this file now as you can see this is a scaling that is happening and we want the scaling to happen smoothly so simply for the link class we can provide the transition css property and we can say all over here and let's say we provide 0.5 second as the timing so when we save this file now we still cannot see the transition that is happening smoothly so guys we have done the mistake over here this css property should belong to the i tag this time so basically we will provide the link class followed by the i tag and then over here we will provide the transition css property we will say all and then 0.5 seconds so since we are making the changes for this i tag the transition property should be associated with the i tag over here so when we save this file now and get the mouse cursor over here as you can see the transition is happening now the scaling of the icon is happening to 1.5 times with the 0.5 seconds timing so guys in this way you can provide your own buttons based on your requirements with the help of these icons the links i have already given in the description section below so comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video 
please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to create more html and the css projects so stay tuned